Hi, it's Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert, and today I'm going to show you how to create a shimmer wall on a specific wall here in a bedroom that we're working at using Rust-Oleum's uh, Shimmer Glitter Paint. It's a real easy project to give your wall some pop. Let me show you how it's done. So it starts by first really stirring uh, the material. As you can see, it's kind of goopy. And as you're stirring, you can see the shimmer. This is an iridescent finish, so it's sort of like a clear coat. And it's important to get all that glitter suspended within the body of the material before you pour it into the paint tray. Now you can either apply this with a brush or a roller, or you can even use a paint sprayer depending on the project that you're working on. We're gonna be applying this with a roller it's a nine inch roller with a half inch nap. So it's not a, a super thick roller, but that's what's recommended by the manufacturer. Like with any paint job, preparation is important. And we've prepped this wall. We've taken care of any holes or divots that it's on there. You'll see on the can, it'll talk to you about what you can apply it over. Typically walls need to be primed, but in this case, we've got a nice finish base here of a paint color and we're gonna go right over the top of that so it's ready to go. Now let's start applying it right now. Now you wanna start by fully coating the roller. Remember I told you how it's kind of goopy? You can see that as we go in there. You wanna make sure that you get a nice even coat on the body of the roller and then get rid of any excess and now we're ready to start applying it to the wall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by going vertically with the application and then once that dries, we'll come back and go horizontally. And you want to start to put that on there with a nice, even coat. Now, because it's iridescent, you really have to pay attention to make sure there's no ropes. Roping is when you push the roller too much and you put, apply too much pressure to it. You want to avoid that at all costs because that will change the look. And it's important, too, that you have good lighting so you can see what you're doing. Because the fact that it's iridescent, it's just kind of covering, it's gonna give you that, that hint of glitter right over the top. It's gonna to look great. So we're gonna do a second coat using a second quart of the paint. As you can see, there's like some vertical lines based on how I applied the uh, material onto the wall. I'm gonna come back after this dries with the second coat going horizontally to blend it all in. A lot of you, what you're doing is just taking glitter and adding it to paint. While you can do that, there's a lot more expertise involved to get these kind of results. With the paint that's designed to do that, that goopier, thicker material, it is what gives you these results. So by changing the direction of the roller, this is where you kind of get that nice, consistent coverage. And it's a good idea to have a bright light shining on this because with this translucent color and the shimmer, you really kind of want to blend that in. So you want enough light so that you can see that there aren't any kind of pockets in the coverage. And it gives you that nice consistent look so that you get professional results. And then every now and then stand back and take a look at it so you can fill in those spots. This is going to look great. Adding glitter to a wall is sort of like doing an art project. It's a great way to get some pop, and it's fun to do. Now, if you need more advice, you can certainly talk to the sales associate right at your local Ace Hardware store. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you'd like, you can visit us at acehardware.com. Remember, Ace is the helpful place.